Hi everyone, Scott Davenport here. In this video, we're going to talk about changing the brush mode with the keyboard shortcut in Photo Raw. Now this has changed in the 2018.5 release. It's been one way for a long time and it has recently changed with 2018.5. I reached out to the folks at On1 to explain to me what was the reason behind the change and they gave me the backstory. And we'll go all through that in this video. But let's start with the fundamentals. What's a, what's a brush mode? And you know, what are we changing here? So if we have a photo like this one here and we add a filter to it, let's add dynamic contrast, but I don't want it on the ocean. Well, I have my brush and I can have either a paint out or a paint in mode. And so I could paint away the parts that I don't want. And if I make a mistake and I go too far, I could switch this to paint in, make my brush smaller and return it to areas that I want to keep that effect. So changing brush mode from paint out to paint in is pretty common when you're masking and to speed up your workflow, we use a keyboard shortcut. Now historically, that keyboard shortcut has been the letter X. In 2018.5, it's shift X. So on the screen here, once again here, we have the paint in mode. I'll make my brush a little bit bigger so we can see that plus sign. I'm gonna press shift X and notice there's a minus inside the brush and the mode has changed to paint out. Again, shift X again, it's back to paint in. On a Mac, you can also use the option key and I believe that's alt on a Windows machine. If you hold down that key, you can temporarily change the mode. So why did this change? Why is it shift X and no longer X? It has to do with trying to standardize the keyboard shortcuts across all of the modules. So if you're in browse and you're going through your photos and you're culling, the X key is to reject the photo. And so that same shortcut key now works in develop and effects. And why would you want to do this? Well, let's say I'm looking at things here. This was maybe a sequence of shots. If I bring up the film strip mode, I press the F key. I've got a couple of different photos here and I'd be working through these and then decide while I'm in develop, I don't like that one. I can press the X key. I press it once and I'm going to reject that photo by pressing X. And my brush mode didn't change, but I've now gotten that photo to be marked as rejected. Now this is very important for those of us that are, uh, are you know, long time users of Photo Raw. It's going to take a little time to get used to this Shift X thing. Long term, I think I'll, I'll like it and I'll be happy with it because consistency of the keyboard shortcuts across all the modules will be very nice. I came from Aperture originally and Aperture was modular -less. Everything worked at any time at any moment. And so keyboard shortcuts, there was one set and that was it. When I moved into Lightroom, it was infuriating how each module had different and still has different keyboard shortcuts. Eventually you build up the muscle memory but it took a while. So I, I like the long-term direction here. I would have preferred this maybe to be aligned with a new major release as opposed to a dot five release, but you know, it's honestly, it's that's here or there, it, it's done now. And we know what the difference is, shift X versus X. Now, one last thing I want you to be aware of. So if you're working in a module like this and you're doing masking and you know, I'm painting something in, and then I press the X key and I want to paint it out. Oh, it didn't change. Uh, oh, okay, uh, Shift X, great. Now I've painted it out. Well, what just happened under the covers is I rejected that photo. Let's go back to browse and see what that looks like. Notice underneath the photo where the badges are, this bright X is now set. That means this photo is rejected. And I don't want that, that was a mistake. So I need to make sure I clear that. I can click on it here. I could press the X key again. I've pressed it to turn it on. I'll press it to turn it off. Actually, I can't turn it off again. I've got to make it a, a pick or I can do a U for unflag. And so as you're developing your muscle memory, it's possible you might reject a photo when you didn't mean to. So what I'm going to advise you to do is periodically in browse, go into the filters area, turn on the filters, and then just show any photos that are rejected or unrejected. So these are showing any of the rejected photos. These are showing all the rejected photos. So if I had accidentally rejected a photo, I'll press X and I turn on this filter to say, show me just rejected photos. I'm going to find something there. If this is something you wanted to keep, you need to press the U key to unreject it or the P key to make it a pick. 
however your, your workflow works, but just be careful when you've done masking on a photo and you haven't built up that muscle memory yet for Shift X to toggle that brush mode, double check that you didn't accidentally reject the photo that you didn't mean to. That's going to do it for this video. Hope this was helpful to you. If you've got other questions about On1, feel free to contact me through my website, and I'm sure I'll see you again soon. Thanks.